Another day of thrifting here in Wyoming. Today I am in Powell, which is a short, pleasant drive from Cody. What will the thrift stores here hold? Will I find anything vintage? Let's find out. In Powell, Wyoming, a nice little walk down by the shops. Plenty of shops. This street actually has a few thrift stores on it. Ample parking, friendly people. Let's see what the thrift store has to offer us here in Powell. So this is actually a Habitat thrift shop and you will see the difference between this Habitat and the Habitat Restore that I was in back in my hometown. I have been to this Habitat before. As I said, it's just a short drive from Cody, Wyoming, and it's a pretty big store. They also have lots of clothing too. My Habitat does not offer the amount of clothing that this Habitat does. So it looks like they still have some of their Easter items displayed, perhaps people stocking up for next year. I didn't really look at the tchotchkes, the holiday decorations that were available, again, because I have a suitcase. Now, I did look at the clothing. I will spare you, though, but they have plenty of racks, all color coordinated. So if you're looking for gray, you go to the gray rack. If you're looking for red, you go to the red rack. And there were some Cody Wyoming items. Their clothing ranged anywhere from $1 to $5, up to $10, depending on what it was. Now, look at this setup. I actually wish I would have bought that mug. I think it was 75 cents. But I wanted to show you the setup, how they display their mugs and their pans. I think that it is a great idea. Now, does it take up a lot of wall space? Yes, it does, but I would think that this also promotes more buying of these items because they're not just shoved on a shelf or you don't have to unstack and restack the pots and the pans. So I really think it's a great way to display. And look at all those mugs. So again, if you need a mug, head on down to your thrift store and you'll be sure to find one there. Plenty of pots, plenty of pans. This store has a mix of items. We have some more craft. See again, the cards, as I mentioned in my previous thrift video, they really have a lot of cards and crafting. This I loved. This stack of vintage wrapping paper. Each little section, I guess or piece or wrapped pieces were 25 cents for one and I thought that that was a great price because you do get a few sheets in each package but seeing all these I mean this town Cody seems like the place Cody and Powell seem like the place to come to if you want to find vintage wrapping paper vintage paper vintage cards now not ephemera though I haven't seen one photograph for sale in my thrifting adventure here they also have a lot of patterns some sewing notions this little section was all your crafting, sewing, more fabric, and a whole display of patterns. We have neckline book, and then this funky, bright colored men's shirt pattern book. I'm not a sewer, so that stayed there. This is the second shop. This is a combination between vintage, antique, and new. I've also been to this shop before. It's just neat to see what type of vintage and antique items they have there. I do wonder where they get their inventory, if this type of store is you know, the place you go to when you want to do a clean out, or if they have donations. I'm not going to be bringing home any large antiques, unfortunately, because there were a few nice pieces here that I would have liked to have. Everybody sings. So yes, in the world of ephemera, in regards to, say, Wyoming, I did not find much. I did stop at another thrift shop that did have Wyoming postcards and Yellowstone postcards, but they wanted over $20 for one. And so that was a, a no, because I'd be able to find them back home at a much cheaper price. But you have all the bottles, insulators, of course, and then look at this beauty. I wish that would fit in my suitcase. I don't think it was for sale. That is one nice piece of furniture. You have another nice cabinet. That little lamb cookie jar, I think was $10, which in my mind isn't a bad, bad deal at all. I think at our Goodwill or our thrift stores back home, it would be a little bit more. We have some Exxon Tiger napkins, $2.50. I think the price was right on that too. So just a mixture of items from old to new. And then look, look at this plant. That's a nice plant. Won't fit in the suitcase either. 
we again find ourselves in the crafting sewing section. It's just something that I, I recognized and more, more patterns, wonder art. I can imagine homes in Wyoming with their closets filled with this stuff because look, now we have more vintage cards and stationery in the original packaging. Now I didn't purchase any of these, but I just kept finding it neat to see. So we have party invitations and original wrappers. I wish they would have been from cartoons from the 80s or the 90s because I surely would have stuffed my suitcase full of them. We do have some Cinderella thank you cards. I believe those packs were 50 cents each, which is a great price. You have some Hallmark and then your single greeting card. So I'm guessing maybe people go to the thrift store to purchase their greeting card. Definitely cheaper than Walmart. Oh my gosh, I go halfway, not halfway, I go more than halfway across the country and I find a vintage sock monkey kit with the socks. So now I can make my own since my aunt said she made me one, but she never did. I had to go all the way to Powell, Wyoming to find one, but I did. More vintage wrapping paper. The wrapping paper was $2 for a pack whereas the other thrift store was 25 cents for a pack. More napkins. That's why it's just, it's funny the common, the common items that you see at thrift shops in different places. These little pads were neat. They are themed. I think this one was golfing and then we had bowling. This was their jewelry section. I just want to show what they used to put the earrings on. At first I thought it was a real photo, but it wasn't. It was just a copy. That's probably the closest I'll get to finding a vintage photo out here. Thrifting is hard here in this part of Wyoming, for sure. You know, I, I didn't see any people waiting in line when the store opened. I didn't see the vintage t-shirt crowd going through the racks like back at my thrift store. So it's, it's definitely different. As I said in my other thrifting video, if you want to be a reseller out here in Wyoming, at least in this part, it's difficult. Now there is a new shop that opened, it's called 307 Liquidations, and I'm pretty sure that they probably buy overstock or return pallets. I might check that store out one of the days, probably tomorrow, but I don't think I'll film because it's, as I said, overstock return. So, you know, they have household goods, clothing, shoes. On their Facebook page, they say, you know, shoes, $2 this day. I mean, a pair of brand new shoes, probably from Target, for $2 is pretty cheap. So I might just go and check that out myself. My friend went to the store. She said it's organized very well. The owners are really friendly. So I'll probably pop in and see that. But as for thrifting, I wanted to find some neat vintage Yellowstone, vintage Cody Wyoming shirt. And did I? Well, I'll show you what I did find. I ended up buying, because it's lightweight, it shouldn't add too much weight to my book bag my suitcase, the wrapping paper. Now, it was funny because almost in every thrift store I went in out here, it's like they have hordes of the vintage wrapping paper, tablecloths, the plastic ones, cards. Cards are a big thing, you know. They have cards, greeting cards, birthday cards, holiday cards for like 50 cents a piece. So I don't know who's been saving all these things, but I did buy some vintage wrapping paper this is from the Gibson Greeting Card Company. We have this great, almost like a Western motif, at least with the colors. This one is Hallmark, made in USA, the Easter bunnies. I love this one, it has the cranes. This is by Art Fair Gift Wrap, Franklin, Tennessee. And then this cutie, it's Kids Wrap and it's by Cleo. Again, made in Memphis, Tennessee, a division of Gibson's. So I got those. Then from that same store, I found this Sock Monkey kit. So it has the instructions and it actually shows how to make a Sock Monkey and Sock Elephant doll. But the great thing about this is, is that it came with the socks. So it's the red heel socks that you make this with. So this was $3 and I'm excited that I found this 
if you've been watching the channel, you know the saga of the sock monkey. My aunt made a sock monkey for all of my cousins. She never made one for me. When I would ask her, she'd be like, oh, I made you one, I made you one. I'm like, no, you did not. So I actually found a vintage sock monkey at the flea market a few weeks ago. And now, at some point on my to-do list, I can make my own. <laughs> and I guess there's enough to make, I don't know if I can make the monkey and the elephant. Not sure. So I bought that. And then the last thrift shop I ended up buying, I don't think I showed the rack though. This is a vintage Cody Wyoming shirt. It is a large, it's a jerseys. It's, it's pretty, pretty big. I actually might cut this so that I can wear it. And it's Making Tracks Cody Wyoming. So you have the guy running away from the bear. When I checked out, the owner of the store said that this was actually her, I think her dad or uncle, a relative's shoe store in Cody. And they were there for about 20 to 25 years. The store is, the store is not in business anymore. So this is a piece of retail shop history from Cody, Wyoming. I think I should be able to hem it, do something with it so that I can wear it. But got that. So my thrifting days in Cody and Pal are done. I, I often say in my videos that, oh, you know, there's no, we haven't had a good estate sale in a few weeks or, oh, you know, the auctions, we don't have any for the next week or so. I mean, out here, you know, the, the, the frequency of estate sales, auctions, yard sales in this area is like nothing. So the next time I'm like, oh, I have to wait, you know, a week and a half for a good estate sale. I need to remember if I lived out here, I could be waiting, you know, two to three months for a good estate sale. There is a flea market. My friend told me there's one and like pops up randomly during the summer. And she said the last time she saw it, they had rugs out and there's like one person selling. So even a bad day at my flea market where I may not find anything or perhaps the tote man doesn't show up is better than a flea market day here in Cody, Wyoming. <laughs> the last shot that I had, if I caught on camera, they did have some ephemera. They had the Yellowstone postcards, but I think they wanted like $30 and $20 for the cards. And you know, I, I can find them back home for a better price for sure. So I don't know where all the vintage clothes end up with the people in Cody. You know, I was hoping I had thought that I would find like a rack of vintage Yellowstone t-shirts from the 70s, the 60s, 50s, we were probably pushing it. Do they just not wear them? Do they not buy them? Because Yellowstone is right down the street. Has the market or is the market for a vintage National Park shirt, is that, made by the tourists that go into the parks, buy all these items, give them to someone, wear them, share them, whatever. And then, you know, 15, 20, 30 years later, when they're cleaning out their closets, they're cleaning out their basements, they're cleaning out their junk drawers, they find these things. And that's when they make it to the thrift stores, the estate sales, the rummage sales, etc. Rummage sale. I don't, I have to ask my friend if they have rummage sales out here. I don't know. That would have been fun to go to a rummage sale here in Cody. So thrifting, I may not have found exactly what I was looking for, but that's okay because it's still fun to get out there and see what kind of things are common between thrift stores, no matter what state you're in and what is perhaps a little bit different. And no more thrift store videos after this because after this, I'm headed into Yellowstone. Uh, I can't wait. Opening weekend of Yellowstone, I will be there. My friend said that it's a really good time to go because the crowds are very, very slim. Tour buses aren't in yet, probably because a decent amount of the park is actually closed due to the snow that they still have, but that's a-okay with me. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what it's like thrifting here out in Cody, Wyoming. There's a lot of clothes and they do have tchotchkes, but what I was looking for, I did not find, but that mean, does not mean I won't find it somewhere else. Thanks for watching, have a great day. And if you are out and about at your local thrift store or perhaps you are venturing out to a thrift store in another state, I hope that you find your treasure. Mm -hmm.